Hi guys, I hope you're doing well, staying safe, uh, finding time to get outside when you can, and enjoying time with your family um, as you are home and not at school. I miss you a lot, and um, I hope that you're able to join us for a video chat session so I can see your smiling faces and just talk to you and see how you are. In the meantime, we have these videos. So this week we have a math video that we're doing right now, and then we'll also have a reading video that we'll go over in a different one. So check out that video as well. It'll be very similar to last week's video. You will need um, something to write with and something to write on. So if you don't have that with you, pause the video quick and go grab something so that you can follow along and try out the strategies on your own and then you can press play when you're ready. So now that you have materials and you're ready to go, let's get right to it. Um, so this week's video is going to focus on perimeter again. However, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into finding perimeter with story problems, so giving you some context in why would we need to know how to find the perimeter, um, why is this an important skill that we'll need to know, and then we'll also get a little bit into some more challenging problems where we find missing sides um, in order to find a perimeter. Um, it'll be shapes that are irregular and we'll get to that in just a little bit. But first we're going to do story problems. So I'm going to do this first one for you and model it. Um, but before we do that, just a quick reminder about perimeter. So remember perimeter is the distance around a figure. I often like to think about a fence around the outside of your yard. And there's two ways that you can find perimeter. If there is a picture and it is on a grid paper, so there's a bunch of those little squares, you can count the squares on each of the sides and then add up the measurements. Or if it gives you the measurements already on the shape, then you can just simply add up the sides. So here's our first story problem. Sam wants to put a frame around a picture she just bought. How many inches of framing will she need? So in order to know this, I need to know what size my picture is. And so the picture is an eight by 10, eight inches by 10 inches. That's a really common uh, size picture that you might print out. And so if I want to put a frame around that, then I need to figure out how many inches of framing that I will need. So I'm gonna think about my two different strategies of how to do perimeter. One of them was, had to do with if it was on grid paper and I saw squares inside, and I don't see that this one's on grid paper, but it does give me each of the lengths of the sides, and so I can easily just add those together. So as I'm looking at this picture, I know in order to find how many inches of framing that um, Sam will need, I'll have 10 plus 10, the two sides, equals 20, and then the other two sides, 8 plus 8 equals 16, so I just add those together. 20 plus 16 equals 36. So I know that the perimeter is 36 inches. Now some people like to just start at one side and add all the way around and that's fine. Just making sure that you add all of the sides and when we add, we remember we can add in any order. So it doesn't matter which order you add them in, just make sure you get all of them. So let's try this next one together. We'll read through it and then I'll have you pause and kind of work through some of it on your own and then I'll kind of walk you through the steps after that. So this story problem goes like this. It says, Kelsey is getting a new puppy and she needs to build a fence around a play area in her yard. How much fencing will she need? So again, in order to figure this out, it's the outside around the yard if I'm doing a fence. So this is a picture of Kelsey's yard and I see that it is on graph paper, meaning it has those little squares that we can see. So I want you to think about what you might do to solve this and figure out the perimeter. I know that if it doesn't give me the side lengths, then I'm gonna to have to count those squares and figure out what those are. So that's gonna be my first step, is figure out what the length of each side is. So go ahead and pause the video, count each side and write those down so that you can figure that out. Now that you've figured it out, let's see what I got. So I see three on this side, four, three, one, two, 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 and one. So the number of squares would be the length of each of those sides, and so that's in the orange. So those are all the different lengths of my sides. This is kind of an irregular shape. It's not 
um, a square or a rectangle. So it's going to be a few more sides that I'm going to have to add. So thinking of that, I have to remember that perimeter is adding all of those sides. So you can use whatever strategy you want to add. Right now I want you to pause if you haven't already done so and add all those numbers to figure out what the perimeter is. When you're ready, you can press play and I'll talk through my thinking. So now that you've tried to figure it out on your own, I'm gonna walk through it. Again, some people like to just start at one side and add all around. And if that's something that works for you, then that's great. It does not matter what order you add the sides in as long as you add all of them. I like to think of it like a number talk and I like to find um, things that I can add together easily to make friendly numbers. So right away, I wanted to add one plus one. I saw these two sides that are one and one, which is two. I see two, two and two, which is six. Then if I add the remaining ones, three and three and four, that makes a 10. So those are all kind of friendly numbers. I'm not done yet though, because I need to add all of those together. So my next step is adding two plus six plus 10, which is 18. So now we know that the perimeter equals 18. And we're gonna assume since it's fencing, it's probably feet. So that would be an important thing that you need to make sure if it gives you the um, unit of measure, then you need to include that in your answer as well. So this time I want you, I'm gonna read the problem and give you all the information and then you're going to pause and solve it on your own first and then I'll run through it a little bit quicker how I would solve it. So our last problem for story problems is Melissa planted a garden, but she needs to build a fence around it to keep out the rabbits. What is the perimeter of her garden? So in order to solve that, you need to see her garden. So take a look, if this is her garden, the the rectangle here is her garden. I want you to pause the video and think about what would be the perimeter, how much fencing does she need? Now that you've figured it out, let's walk through what I would do. So looking at this, I see one side is six, one side is four. However, it doesn't label all of the sides. I have two sides that are missing their lengths. Well, I know that it's a rectangle, and so something I know about rectangles is that parallel sides would have the same length. So I know that these two across from each other are going to be the same, and these two across from each other would be the same. So I have four feet and six feet again. Knowing that perimeter is around the outside, I need to just add those numbers together. Six plus six is 12, four plus four is eight, 12 plus eight equals 20, so my perimeter would be 20 feet. And again, it gave me the unit of measurement of feet, so I need to include that in my answer as well. 20 feet would be how much she needs to go around her fence. So you'll get some practice with that as well, solving those problems. Hopefully that lets you see how you might use perimeter in real life, not just in math. Um, okay, so now that we have done some story problems. We are going to look at how to find the perimeter when there are missing sides in an irregular shape. So we kind of have to be detectives in this case. Um, what I mean by irregular shape is it's not just a plain rectangle or square. We have these little kind of like cutouts that make it a little bit more challenging to figure out that missing side. So when I'm looking at these, I have to kind of figure out an equation or um, what kind of pieces I can add together to help me figure out those missing sides. So let's start with this side over here. I can see that um, it's a really long side and I don't know what it is. But if I look along the other side, I can see that I have some clues that can help me figure out how long this side is. So if I were to imagine that this line goes all the way out. Um, I know that it's gonna be the same length as this side right here. So if I add together this five and three, that's gonna be the same length as this missing side here. So I know that that's going to be eight. Then I see there's one more missing side here. And in order to do that one, I can see I know that this one is five. And I know that this one is seven. And if I look again, I have this one is five centimeters. And if it just went just this much longer, the same amount as this line here, then it could reach 
that far end and become seven centimeters. So I know that this much more when I add it to that five is going to equal seven. So I know that this little part here, five plus two is going to be seven. So I have that that one is two centimeters. Now that I know all of the side lengths, all I have to do is add them together to figure out what the perimeter is. So if you haven't already, pause the video and see if you can figure out the perimeter on your own, and then I'll walk through it. So I'm simply gonna add all these sides now that I know what they are. Seven plus five is 12. Three plus two is five. Five plus eight is 13. 12 plus 13 is 25. And if I move my head out of the way, you can see that 25 plus five equals 30. So the perimeter is going to be 30 centimeters. Let's try another one here in a second. Example. So here's our next one. Again, I wanna think about if I'm looking at these missing sides, I wanna pretend like I can almost extend them and um, make it a rectangle and knowing which two sides might equal a whole side that's already there. So I'm gonna look at this side here in orange, next to the orange arrow. In order to figure that out, I need to do five plus what equals 12? Because this little bit, if that were here, it would complete that whole line there. So thinking about five plus 12, I know, or five plus what equals 12? That's seven. So I know that that side is going to be seven. Then looking at the next side, this one right here in the teal, I already have three, and this portion here, if I were to extend that down, would be the same length, those two together, as this nine centimeters over here. So in order to figure that one out, I would need to know three plus blank equals nine, and I know that that's six. So that side has to be six. Now in order to find the perimeter, we're going to have to add those all together. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure out how many it is all together. Now that you've figured it out, let's look. Three plus seven plus six equals 16. 16 plus five equals 21. 21 plus nine equals 30. 30 plus 12 equals 42. So the perimeter would be 42 centimeters. So these ones are a little bit tricky. They're kind of a challenge, um, but that will come in handy when you need to find the perimeter of shapes that just aren't regular. I hope this was helpful. Um, I'll see you on another video later next week.